Hi guys, wicked hat today. Blue hat knitted by my good lady last year. Keeps the ears warm. As I pan around. Right. It's coming into focus. Very misty, moisty, late autumnal morning. Christmas, or Yuletide as I like to call it, is only six weeks away. Right, here we go. The first great fungi find of the day. There we go. This is a death cap. Oh, this is a no-no as far as edibles go. Um, well, apparently it tastes very good, but, you know, and you're willing to try it if you wish, but a fortnight later, you'll be feeding the fungi, rather than the fungi feeding you. Right, and in there, right, as you can see, this is lot of birch around here so what have we got fly agaric and I shall be back in a bit boys and girls look what I found something beautiful rare and wonderful around here a sep Porcini, or as known in England, the Penny Bun. And I'm keeping a location secret. Also found these beauties on the way in. One, two, three, four, five. Five lovely filled mushrooms. So, I shan't be cooking them here, I've already bought some fungi out, but I'll be taking them home and I'll be eating them with my good lady later on. Oops, bit of bad filming there. Right, got the water on the boil. Today's breakfast is going to have some um, tortillas, which I'm making myself, or flatbreads, chapatis tortillas. It's a flatbread used with baking powder. And I'll see how they go out because, you know, get a bit fed up with the um, common or garden wrapped in sliced loaf that seems to be ubiquitous in the world today. And my views on that ha, aren't very nice. See, we all make bannock, you know, we're all good at making bannock, and want to, but, you know, sometimes you might want to wrap your bacon up in something, and I've got some bacon today, which I'm looking forward to eating later, and I thought, make some flour tortillas, or chapatis, flatbread. It's a basic bannock mix, but sands the milk powder, and obviously the sugar. Let's pop this on there. You can, if you're really clever, actually do it by hand. Takes a bit of doing, and you can make a bigger one. So, when I've cooked all this up, I shall come back. I'm going to have my breakfast now. I shall be back later with a bit to camera. Uh, about some new kit that I've got, and a bit on fungi foraging, maybe. Or just general life as it is in the bush. Be back later. Well, it's sort of very moist day today. Uh, it's 
sounds like it's raining, but it's actually mist. And there's a lot of it about. Um, had, a, had a pretty good week so far, or a pretty good couple of days fungi foraging. Found a humongous parasol mushroom up on the uh, common, up on Tumbridge Wells Common. Huge! Um, you could never mistake that for a shaggy dappling at all. And um, very tasty it was. Apparently they're better deep fried, but we baked ours in the oven. Um, we need to make up a little fry for that. And as you saw earlier, a nice sep or penny bun. And a few field mushrooms which I picked on the way in. Um, it's winter's upon us. Time to get some of the winter gear out. Um, if you're sleeping in a hammock, best thing I've found is some people use a type of quilt underneath the hammock that's carrying unnecessary bulk. Try getting some thermal underwear, thermal socks, and use that as a sleeping bag liner. You get into that before you get into your sleeping bag and it should keep you fairly toasty warm. That's providing you've got a sleeping bag that is built for winter weather. Um, Bought some new gear, um, a pair of desert boots, a pair of um, high, heavy, heavier trekking boots um, made by a South, South African company called Rogue. Can't fault them. Nice wide toe box. And I bought a Power Monkey, which is basically a solar charger and a battery charging kit. For your electronic devices that you take out into the woods with you. Um, it's primarily to keep the mobile phone charged up because while you're out here, I mean, I'm not too far for some flats. You know. um, five, five, five minute walk away. Um, not too far from a hospital that way, which is. Ooh, about half an hour walk, um, isn't too far. Uh, it's good to have an emergency calling device, though mobile phones don't work in every situation. There is something else you should carry with you, and it's what I call it's an ice card in case of emergency. We're, 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 we're always asked and we're always asked to keep have a nice number in your mobile phone. That's all well and fine, but if you're in an area where the mobile phone doesn't have coverage, you're a bit stuffed. A nice card should be in a in a way an identity card. We in the UK don't have identity cards. The closest we get are passports and driving licenses. And on the ice card, what you what what I think should be on it is obviously your name, someone to be contacted in case you know in case you've had an accident, um, whether you're suffering from any chronic condition, you know, diabetes, maybe arthritis, whatever, any medication that you're on, and your blood group. And that way, at least the emergency services or whoever rescues you will have a fairly good grounding to help you in that emergency. But that's by the by. Um, when I'm cooking, I use my honey stove a lot, or the extension, the hive, and I use a Trangia burner. Now, for using a honey stove, obviously I use it in the wood burning mode. And I've been taking my small wildlife hatchet out using this. But as it's only sort of twiggy things, you know, you can snap them most of most times you can snap them with your hand. But I'm packing that out now. And it's a pair of sexy tours. Very good for cutting twigs and that. And it's quite quick and efficient. You can get a nice little pile of firewood going. 
Um, other than that, it's been a pretty good week. So, as you saw earlier, I got myself a nice set of steps. That's one boot. And that's the other boot. I got a sole, a special sole called an R sole, a rubber sole. I like the R sole better. Um, I'm wintering here. It's a pleasant day. It's very wintry. The deciduous trees are now bare bones, like wooden fingers pointing to the sky, waiting for the spring to pop along. Um, I'm hoping to get out a bit more in the winter. A few challenges coming up for myself. And who knows? It'd be nice to meet up with a few guys, but that's somewhere down the line. I just want to get out and enjoy myself. Um, I'm going to have a wander in a minute after I pack my gear up and maybe a little chat while doing it. I've got my fungi, I'm going to see if I can find some more that can be nibbled on. Um, and in the next video I'll be doing, I'll be showing off something that Crazy Saint has made me, a little neck knife. Um, I just I just like the design of the knife that he made, so I thought I'd have one myself. And it's got hawthorn scales, which I'm really appreciative about. He's put the effort into getting those scales for me. And I'm looking forward to opening up the package when I get back to my Maidstone domicile. Um, now I'm going to sign off for a bit. I'm going to enjoy this brew. Enjoy a bit of um, downtime, I suppose. Pack my gear up in a minute and have a wonder. See what I can find. TTFN. We humans may think we're fast, but the slugs around here are really fast. Uh, another little sap that I'm on. Unfortunately, it's too far gone, too far nibbled by the little slimy buggers themselves. Well, there we go. Stump puffball. Just a little too far gone to pick, really. <laughs>